What's up guys? John here, Titan Talk Tuesday. It's a beautiful Tuesday here, man. It's Titan Tuesday every Tuesday, 6 p.m. And uh, this week is just popping off great. You know, back from another big weekend down in Daytona, the Daytona Classic presented by Titan Medical Center. That's where we had all weekend. If you guys watch the story or stay tuned to our social media, you guys might have seen us out there. We're having a little bit of fun. Working hard, playing hard. That's what we're all about here at Titan Medical Center. So it was definitely a great show. Um, it was put on by Mike Matassia um, and and Tony out there. So at that point, those guys did a heck of a job. Brand new location. Great, great competitors were out there. Got to talk to a lot of people, hang out. Just enjoy some time, man. So it was a good, good weekend. I hope you guys had a good weekend too as well. The show we're going to cover is going to be awesome, guys. So we're covering a lot of different things today. So we're going to cover Therapy of the Week, which is NAD+. Plus. Um, and we've talked about NAD before. NADH is in our Titan Ultra. But this is straight NAD. So we're going to talk about the benefits of NAD, what it does, how it can help you out. It's very beneficial in a lot of different ways. So we're going to get into that therapy and talk about it too as well. So if you have any questions about NAD or NAD+, we're going to go over that therapy and talk to you guys about that. We're going to talk to you about gynecomastia. I've heard a lot about gynecomastia lately. I've had a lot of questions all through the nine years of Titan Medical Center about gynecomastia. Um, you know, what causes gynecomastia? How do you get rid of gynecomastia? And really what it is. So we'll talk about that because, you know, everybody should know about this, especially males. You guys need to know about gynecomastia, what can cause it, how you guys can treat it, and, you know, maybe even prevent not getting it, right? So we'll talk about that stuff. Xanax, a benzo, that's what the category, it's categorized as a drug. New labeling, we'll talk about that too. Snowcat Ridge here in Florida coming soon. 60 foot tall, uh, Gundam Robop operational, we'll talk about that. And the debate tonight, what you got? Trump or Biden? It's going to be huge. They're saying that, uh, we'll go into that, I guess, a little bit later, but they're, they're saying that it's going to be a big, big event. So let's get into it. Titan Talk Tuesday. Let's talk about the therapy of the week. So the therapy of the week is NAD+. Now, you probably talked or heard about NAD, like I said, with Titan Ultra. We've had that in there um, in that therapy, which is NAD+. B12 and taurine, uh, we've had that NAD in there for a long time. I think it's been six years, okay? Great for a lot of different things. Now, this is NAD+, plus, um, and this is by itself. Now, let me tell you the difference between the two right away. So, right away, the biggest difference is, is that the NAD+, plus is by itself. It's lifelized. You're going to have to dilute it, right, um, with bacterial static water, and then at that point, you can choose how much you're going to inject. And you can inject from 50 milligrams up to 100 milligrams daily, okay? Now, what is NAD good for? What are these big benefits we're talking about NAD? Well, it's really cool because NAD is actually on the cellular level, right? It works on the cellular level. It's in every living cell in your body. Uh, and it moves through your body. And it helps produce energy for you. It helps with cognitive thinking, cognitive enhancement, brain power. Um, and it works with a lot of different things like chronic fatigue. So a lot of people are dealing with chronic fatigue syndrome right now, either just because before COVID or even after COVID. People are lethargic or people are having this, this chronic syndrome, uh, fatigue syndrome, excuse me, and, and they're having issues with that. So another good thing about NAD and, and what it does really. So it helps repair cells in the body and it also helps repair DNA. Now, what happens to your body? So, let's talk about why this is so important. The reason why this is so important is because our body has damaged cells every day. Our cells get damaged. They try to repair themselves, and they can never repair themselves to a full 100%. Um, this causes other issues and damages throughout the body. Let's talk about the brain specifically. Now, they're using this with a lot of addicts that are trying to get off drugs. Now, what happens to your brain when you do drugs and you become an addict? So this is what happens. Your brain cells get damaged. Your mitochondria gets damaged in the brain, which uh, alters the way your brain's chemicals and functions. You know, this, this it has a long-lasting effect on the body and the way that you think and everything that's going on with it. This will actually help 
repair that mitochondria on the brain. And when it does repair that mitochondria on the brain, what happens is, is your brain will hopefully start functioning properly again or optimal. Because that's what we want to do is we want to think optimally, right? We want to think good. So they, they've been using it for that too. Now, the other big thing they've been using it for, and this is what originally attracted me to it a long time ago, is they were using it with Alzheimer's dementia patients. We know damage to the brain, cellular decline, and stuff like that causes this. That can cause uh, difficulty in motor function, thinking, remembering, all this good stuff. And they're actually, we're injecting patients with this, and that was helping movement, motorized movements, thinking patterns, right? Their brain power coming back to them, which is awesome. Another big thing about NAD is it helps boost the immune system. So there's a number of different things and benefits NAD is responsible for. The other great thing about it is it's natural. It's in the body already. This is not synthetic. So this is not something that's made or processed synthetically in the body and altering it. It's actually natural to the body and helps with the body, which is so cool because you want to be able to use these things that are more natural to the body to help the body get back, repair itself, and perform optimally. So that's why NAD Plus is so, so big, and that's why I pump it like you wouldn't believe. Uh, always with the Titan Ultra because the B12 and the Toyin in there also help with energy, nervous system, brain function, and all this good stuff. But the dose you can take by itself with NAD Plus when it's life lies can be a lot, lot more. And it can definitely help in a lot of different ways. Especially, especially like I was talking to you about cognitive enhancement, co cognitive thinking. A lot of people feel slow. They feel brain fog. It's in, even some of these COVID long haulers are having issues with brain function and them thinking. Like really, really foggy thinking and not be able to think clearly or focused on something for a long period of time. Where this can actually help you guys focus in now when you take this straight it might create a warm feeling in your body okay because it also gets rid of toxins in the body too so at that point if you do take this therapy don't get scared it's not going to hurt you or do anything that's going to be wrong to you okay so nad plus how can you take this great therapy so there's a couple different ways how you can take this therapy one you can take it intermuscularly some people take it subcutaneously now, you can also take this, if you are in the area with Titan Medical Center, you can take it by IV. So, there's a lot of different ways and functions that this can be used with. Um, you can use this with a lot of different other therapies with Titan Medical Center, or you can take it by itself. And like I said, you can do this in, in your comfort of your own home or office or space uh, with a little insulin needle, right? And you'll have the NAD+. Plus. You can take that, and like I said, you can really customize what dosage you want to do from 50 milligrams all the way up to 100 milligrams daily. Okay, if it's through an IV, you can take 500 milligrams at one time, 1,000 milligrams, so that's how potent it can really get. But if you're not able to do an IV here at Titan Medical Center, you can do it, like I said, intermuscularly or subcutaneously. Okay, and you're gonna get a great effect. Like, you'll feel it kick in, I, probably like 15, 20 minutes later, you'll really feel it kick in, you'll be like, wow, oh man. So you got to know it's coming because, you know, if you don't, it does scare some people because if they feel it kick in, they're like, oh, my God, what is going on? I hope I don't want to die. What, what's going on? So NAD Plus, great for cognitive enhancement, great for energy, great for immune system building, awesome for cellular repair and DNA repair, okay? NAD Plus, therapy of the week. If you guys want to know more about NAD Plus or any of these other therapies like Titan Ultra, the other ones that we offer, all you guys got to do is call or text 727-389-3220. We service nationwide. And with this therapy, you don't need any blood work. So it's real simple, real easy to do. All you have to do is fill out some new patient paperwork. You're going to see our medical provider. You can come see him here at the office. Or if you're not here or not in the state, we service nationwide via telemedicine. If you have an Apple iPhone or Apple product, we do FaceTime. If not, we do Skype. So you guys will be able to take advantage of the Titan Medical Center therapies wherever you're at in the country and whatever therapies we offer. From home replacement therapy, medical weight loss, the vitamin amino acid injectables, rejuvenation detox, libido enhancers, peptides, and blood work, plus a lot, lot more. It's so much, I don't, I can't mention it all because I'll just bore you out of your mind and your head will just spin. So at that point, if you want to know more or you have specific goals you're trying to reach, 
we can give you some recommendations or what might help you the best out of Titans Arsenal, okay? So call or text the number 727-389-3220 if you want to know more about that one or any of the other therapies that we offer, okay? Next, gynecomastia. So if you're a guy, you've probably heard about gynecomastia before. Man boobs is what I like to say, where everybody knows what that is. Like, oh, yeah, I don't want man boobs. Because I'm like, hey, you know, gynecomastia, you don't want to get gynecomastia, right? And I'm like, you know, the man boobs. Like, oh, no, no, no. I don't want no man boobs. Nobody wants man boobs, okay? So what is gynecomastia, right? So gynecomastia is when you grow tissue, specifically on a male, in the breast area. So we grow breast tissue, okay? It's a... It's an imbalance in endocrine hormones, if you really want to get technical with it. And usually it's when estrogens go higher than androgens in the body. Um, and estrogens can create tissue. Let's really break this down and talk about it, okay? So, our bodies as males aromatize and females aromatize our testosterone. So, if you're on hormone replacement therapy or you're taking testosterone, it's going to aromatize. It's going to aromatize into other hormones in there. One specifically being estrogen, estradiol, uh, and DHT. The big ones is estrogen. So estrogen is what grows tissue, uh, specifically breast tissue or fat deposits in the area and stuff like that. My main example is this, females. Females have a higher estrogen level and hold a higher estrogen level than males. Now, what happens with females? They grow breasts. Okay, and they have thicker thighs, and, and they go, or they they can have a little bit more uh, body fat on their body. Okay, and they usually do, and it's usually healthier than a male is. So the same thing can happen with males. Okay, and we have to have some estrogen in our bodies in males, but the ratio in there, or the level of estrogen in our body, has to be right. It has to be balanced, because if it's not balanced, you're going to get these problems or other issues. Specifically, we're talking about gynecomastia. And like I said, that's when you grow, actually grow breast tissue in these areas. Now, it doesn't have to be from testosterone therapy or replacement. Everybody, as far, as far as guys, even babies have a little bit of gynecomastia in, in the earlier stage of life, okay? Because they usually have some of the estrogens coming from their moms and stuff like that. You might see the puffy nipples on them. When you're looking at gynecomastia, you could see possible puffy nipples, uh, enlarged nipples, right? Um, lumps underneath the nipples, and then you'll look and see for a guy, and it could look like literally, it looks like boobs. Okay, it looks like boobs. They're like maybe curl out or curl in. I've seen a whole, I've seen all kinds of examples out there, guys. You know, this is, happens a lot frequently with people that are taking anabolic steroids, and they're not taking them correctly. Okay, um, usually when people take testosterone or anabolic steroids and they take it by themselves they usually have these negative side effects now gynecomastia just doesn't happen overnight what happens is is your estrogen levels stay at a high level for a long period of time and prolactin can go right along with this and what happens is they stay there for a long period of time you start getting symptoms what are the symptoms i'm talking about water retention irritability okay and fat deposits and then possibly gynecomastia this can happen over a period of time now, it's not a set period of time. I can't tell you it's going to happen between two months and four months. It's different for everybody because people aromatize at different rates. People are more, so some guys are more estrogen sensitive out there. So they could aromatize and be more sensitive to that estrogen and develop gynecomastia or breast tissue a lot faster. Okay, then some guys, I've seen some guys where they don't need aromatize inhibitors. It's very rare. But I have seen it happen where they just take testosterone androgens and don't have that problem or issue. But most guys usually do. Now, like I said, it, it just doesn't come from testosterone. This can come from a whole bunch of different things. Let's talk about some of the different things that can come from. So prepubescent males can also get this, and that's from a hormone imbalance in their body, okay? Now, the medications that could possibly affect you are anti-androgens, not anti-estrogens anti-androgens and those anti-androgens are pretty commonly used today in a number of different things especially for male pattern baldness and a lot of guys are taking finasteride or dutasteride and this can actually cause gynecomastia and you're saying 
you know, John, how can this cause gynecomastia? It's not an androgen. It's an anti-androgen, so I shouldn't be aromatizing faster. <clears throat> what happens is, is it tanks your androgen levels and your ratio is off, and that's what can happen. This can also happen from SSRIs, antidepressants. They can cause an increase in estrogen levels and for you to have these problems too as well. Right, so this can happen in a number of different ways. Okay, it can affect you in a number of different ways, but gynecomastia is very serious out there. And I see a lot of people that ask me a question: Hey, does this look like gynecomastia? Do you think this is gynecomastia? Now, you can really feel, and you can, if you can feel lumps or you see breast tissue and it looks like man boobs, it pop, probably is. Okay, now some people could be overweight, and they could have a lot of fat around their chest or their pecs. And they could possibly get rid of that fat, right? So the first thing you want to do is try to start getting in shape, you know, lose weight, and then see what's happening really underneath all of that weight, um, you know, that you have on yourself. And then you could really determine what's going on. And, you know, with, I would say about 50% of guys after that usually possibly have gynecomastia. Uh, and at that point, they can go to a surgeon and they can get it cut out because you're going to have to cut away that breast tissue. Some people use anti-estrogens. They're very ineffective most of the time. So at that point, if you start an anti-estrogen, you already have gynecomastia, it's usually really not gonna help too much. Now, Novel Dex, which is tamoxifen, was one of the original aromatized inhibitors. Um, and tamoxifen, uh, Aremidex, which is the Nastrozol, Letrozol, Aromacin, like all these different aromatized inhibitors were made for breast cancer patients, okay? And specifically, we're talking about tamoxifen. So tamoxifen was used, and the reason it was used originally was it targeted breast receptors for estrogen, okay? Because usually pre and post breast cancer patients, this was a medication they were put on. And it was to take out the estrogen in the receptors in the chest area because of breast cancer, okay? So this could possibly help if you're starting to get symptoms right away, you're getting flare-ups and stuff like that, tamoxifen, novel decks possibly could help but you're going to want to make sure that all the estrogen throughout the body is taken care of and balanced too as well okay and that's where aromadex or nasterzol and all these different aromatized inhibitors come into play so with this you want to make sure there is not some uh chemical that you're going to put in your body I've, I've heard a lot of different stories i can inject this and it's going to burn burn the gynecomastia out it's not going to happen it's a tissue you're going to have to probably get it cut out uh, the gland in there, there's actually a gland, um, and they're going to cut that gland down usually. Now, some doctors would cut the whole gland out, which would invert the nipple in most cases, okay? So the two ways to get rid of gynecomastia, one, if you catch it in the earlier stages, right, you could possibly use aromatized inhibitor to knock out all the estrogen in the area. This is before the gynecomastia is formed or the tissue has developed. This is in the earlier stages. After it hits that point, you're pretty much on your own. Now, the only way that you're probably going to get rid of it at that point is for surgery to happen. And when they usually do surgery, like I said, they usually go in there, they cut most of the gland down, right, to very minimal amount, and they, they, they get rid of the tissue, and then they do liposuction. Now, the reason they do this is because when they cut the tissue out, then it will leave you uh, not looking aesthetically pleasing. That's the best way I can describe it, okay? Uh, the chest area could be off and all that. And most of the time, guys get rid of gynecomastia um, because they don't they don't like to take their shirt off. When they take their shirt off and they go to the beach, it looks like they have boobs. Nobody likes that. It makes them very insecure. So gynecomastia surgeries are very, very common. You guys would not believe on how common they are. Um, so at that point, that's, that's really the big thing to watch out for. And usually, it's aesthetic purposes why it gets removed. Now, some people... Um, and this could be a, a telltale too of it coming on or being there is sensitivity in the nipples or pain in the nipples, okay? Some people think, oh, I can't even put on a shirt. When I put on a t-shirt, it feels like uh, my nipples are scratching glass. Like it hurts real bad. This is a, a sign and a red flag for you to jump on it very quickly and get those levels corrected so you guys don't have gynecomastia issues or flare-ups uh, in the future. Okay, so that's just a little bit about gynecomastia, and I've seen 
at least a thousand patients come through Titan Medical Center that have had gynecomastia, send in pictures about gynecomastia. I've worked right along with surgeons because a lot of you know patients come in here and they want to be aesthetically pleasing. And they get gynecomastia before they come to us. They get on our program. They start feeling good. They start dialing in and looking good uh, aesthetically everywhere else. And they can't correct the chest area. And at that point, they're just at their end's wit. They've tried everything else. And then they go in for a surgery. Surgery usually lasts, you know, uh, you're li literally down probably about two weeks. Um, and there's some different ways that different surgeons do it. So I would look into reviews and, and look into maybe some of their past clientele if you're thinking about doing gynecomastia surgery. If you guys are looking for resources on gynecomastia surgery, there's a couple. There's one here in Florida that I would recommend that I've seen has seen a lot of patients from Titan Medical Center. Um, or we've referred to because we don't do it. Um, New York, there's a, a really big one that Dave Palumbo uh, has used in the past for a lot of people that I know has done really, really good work. Um, so at that point, if you guys are looking for uh, you know answers to gynecomastia and stuff like that, you know, you guys can try to hit us up and we'll help you out as much as possible. The big thing about this is to be preventative. So if you are taking hormone replacement therapy or testosterone replacement therapy, you want to make sure that your levels are balanced, okay? You don't want these going too high. And the reason is, is not just because of gynecomastia. High estrogen levels can cause a number of different health issues, uh, especially for guys and girls. Cancer issues especially, that's one big thing. That's why breast cancer patients right? They get put on this. Or people that have breast cancer on both sides of the family, right? They usually go on a preventative. Now, the reason that you go on a aromatized inhibitor when you're on testosterone replacement therapy is because, like I said, we know that testosterone is going to aromatize into these different hormones, specifically estradiol or estrogen and DHT, which is dihydrotestosterone. And it's real funny because if you took a Remedex, you know, it's going to lower estrogen levels. If you take finasteride, dutasteride, it's going to lower DHT levels, which can cause an imbalance too as well. So just watch out what you're doing there. I have seen lately a lot. There are a couple. There were a couple doctors and a couple groups um, that are telling people not to take aromatized inhibitors. They don't need aromatized inhibitors. Specifically, I think the one guy's name is Jay Campbell, and I'll call him out. I'll call him out. I don't care. Uh, at that point, when I see this guy laughing at people and telling them they're stupid, uh, they don't know what they're talking about, that's very ignorant and uneducated of him and those doctors that are out there doing that. There's plenty of evidence that shows how estrogen levels can affect, and they're going to say, well, there's nothing out there that shows aromatized inhibitors used on a male. Well, we know what it's used for on a female, too, as well. So it's kind of the same guidelines and basis. So just think about it. And a lot of those guys that are listening to them, and I have had a couple already, have came back to me and said that they have developed gynecomastia by going by the no aromatized inhibitor guidance. It's stupid. And once you hit that level and you have gynecomastia, you're not going to look that good. A, you're not going to want to take your shirt off. Or if you do, it's not going to look aesthetically pleasing and you're going to be more insecure about your body. So don't do it. Do what's right for your body. Make sure you're going to somebody that's really going to balance your hormones. That's what hormone replacement therapy is all about. It's about balancing the hormones, making it like, I mean, you're going to want to make it as balanced as possible. It's really an ecosystem in the body where everything needs to be in harmonic balance. Okay, so just make sure you're taking care of yourselves. Tip top and don't listen to the rhetoric out there, especially about no aromatized inhibitors. And somebody is going to laugh or call you names about this. That really shows how, how mature they are and how crazy they are. Um, I just seen it. I just I, I, it was just baffled. I'm just I just I was in awe pretty much. And they're just spewing this stuff out there. And you know people they don't know. So it's like you know people tuning in here. They're they're coming in to get educated. They want more knowledge about this. They want more background information to help themselves to help other people to learn. And that's really what you should be taking in. And we should have an open conversation and be open minded about a lot of these different things. And like I said. Everybody's different. My aromatized inhibitor dosage might be different than your aromatized inhibitor dosage. For me, I take 300 milligrams of testosterone a week. I take one milligram of national every other day. Uh, and I take my ACG. That's my hormone replacement therapy, right? And it's all balanced at that point. My progesterone looks good. My GF1 looks good. All these other things are, are clicking. They're optimal, right? And that's how it should be. And then Put me against those guys. I want to see those doctors and Jake Campbell the way that they look. 
How long have they been doing hormone replacement therapy for? How long has their body been going through this transformation? What do they look like? You know, it's real easy to be able to spew things off, but to be able to be able to do it yourself and, and tell somebody, hey, listen, this is what you're going to feel. This is what's going to happen. That There's a lot of credibility behind that, okay? So just look into it. Make sure you guys set your guys' self up for success and not failure, all right? Especially with your body. You only get one. You got to take care of it. And gynecomastia surgery is going to go from 4000 It just depends who's doing it. Between uh, If you get somebody real cheap, 3000 you know, and don't always go with the cheapest person on that. That's very serious. To five thousand usually, okay. And at that point, usually you don't have to worry about it anymore. But with gonococcia, and if you do still have a little bit of the gland, it is possible to get it a second time. It's highly unlikely, but it is possible. So I always want to throw that out there and show you guys, you know, the benefits, the pros, the cons, and what could possibly happen. All right. So you should be prepared for everything. All right. What's up, Type Medical Center? Is NAD the same same as NADH? So yeah. So it is the exact same. The only difference is, is the H, that's for hydrogen. It's just, it's, it's just one extra thing that was supposed to help in the body, uh, transportation-wise and stuff like that. But NAD is the exact same thing, yes. All right, so, Mike, I know you take Titan Ultra. So, Mike Neal's out in Texas, one of my dudes. One of my guys, Titan affiliate, Titan athlete. So, at that point, he takes Titan Ultra. He's been taking Titan Ultra, I know, because I, I follow him, too, as well, okay? And I see what my athletes are doing. So, you're really going to like this NAD+, plus, bro. I mean... Big time, game changer as far as cognitive enhancement. You're really, really going to like it. So next month on your therapy, check out NAD+. Can you buy NAD without without being a patient? So, okay, you can buy NAD plus from us, and being a patient means you fill out the new patient paperwork and you're getting seen for NAD. You don't have to take any other therapies from us. I don't know who out there is doing this because I get this question a lot, honestly. I get that question a lot. Can I do the blood work without being a patient? Can I take Hercules Potion without being a patient? You know, you could be a patient in a number of different ways. If you want just ECAs, if you want to do NAD+, if you want to just do hormone replacement therapy, if you want to do biotin, if you want to do BPC, you're just going to be a patient for that specific therapy. You don't have to do hormone replacement therapy with us to take advantage of all the other therapies. You don't have to be in the state of Florida to take advantage of all our different therapies. We service nationwide, and that's for all the different therapies we offer. And you can just do one therapy out of those, okay? Or you can just do blood work, whatever it is. It could be libido enhancers, whatever. It doesn't matter. We're here to service patients and to help them out. So we want to make sure that, you know, we're doing our, our right way. And, and not everybody needs hormone replacement therapy. Or they might only want NAD because they might be getting hormone replacement therapy for someone else and they like it. That's fine. Totally fine. I never knock anybody for what they want to do like that. I, we're just here to help and want to help in every possible way, shape, or form. All right. So next one. What's an average monthly cost and what does it typically include? Is this for NAD, Mark Ross? So I'll let you guys know. So it's really, really cool what I'm creating right now. So the 1,000 milligram NAD is 275, and uh, it's it can be taken over a month's time span. It really depends on how you want to take it, okay? It can be taken at 50 milligrams a couple times a week. It can be taken daily until you're done with it. It really just all depends on you. Now, you know, uh, I'm going to create a bigger package than this. So 1,000 milligrams of NAD is the biggest package I've ever seen out there. I know we that's the highest doses of NAD out there. So I'm, I'm going to make a bigger, a Titan dose package where it might be 2,000 milligrams. It might be a little bit more money, but it's going to be almost half the price as far as just one. So you'll, it'll almost be like a buy one, get one half off type deal. Um, so it'll be really, really cool, and you guys are going to love it. Are therapies $1,000? No, therapies are not $1,000. Um, now, if you get a whole bunch of therapies... Right? It, it could do that. I mean, you could add it up. It could, it could definitely be expensive. I mean, I know just for me alone, um, you know, and I've showed you guys some of my boxing, my unboxing, where I get three months of therapies. And I take a lot of the different therapies, you know, just to be honest with you guys. A, because they help me out. They help my health. They help my performance. I want to stay on top of things. They help me truly perform better. So I'm a big advocate of you know, the therapies because they, they do help me. So, I mean, my package is, is pretty expensive. Um, but that's almost everything that we do almost, you know, and I'm like a pin cushion every day. So I'm taking 10 to 12 injections per day, you know, and the average person's really not going to do that. I don't take that with a big 23 gauge needle, but the insulin pins, you know, and some people get tired of, of, of doing that many injections. So it really depends on you and what therapies you guys want on what the price is going to be. Okay. Um, 
Is there anything else? Uh, that's it. How much for glutathione shots? Okay. Teresa, all right. So if you're in the area, you can come in for single glutathione shots or single NAD shots or single pretty much whatever we offer. Um, or if you're not and you want to do it in the convenience of your home, wherever you're at in the United States, it's usually $180 for a 30-shot therapy package. Um, so that's really inexpensive as far as that goes. You'll be able to do single injections at your house, and it can last over two-month time span for you. It really just depends on how you inject it, okay? So I hope that answers your question. All right. Uh, Xanax will now, now come with a more serious warning label. Thank God, all right? So we heard a lot about, a lot about Xanax. So Xanax is a benzo, all right? And benzos usually slow you down. They're depressants, okay? And Xanax, Valium, uh, Clodipin, like these are, are examples of benzos. So the new warning label will will say on there, uh, you know, this is highly addictive, okay? And this should have been on there in the beginning. It's highly addictive. Uh, people, you know, they need it, you know, at that point. So I'm glad they're putting this warning label on benzos um, to let people know that it is highly addictive and do not mess with things like this. Um, this oxycodone like these are highly highly addictive medications they all have purposes and and work well when used properly but when abused can cause a lot of different issues uh, as long as social issues family issues problems with yourself um, depression a lot of different issues can come along with this stuff so please guys if you are taking these medications please take them seriously um, if, even if, taking as directed now usually I would tell you hey listen Take your medications as directed. But in this case, I'm going to tell you, be careful about how it is being directed to take. The reason I say that, not to say don't listen to your doctor, but I live here in Florida, which is one of the pill mill capitals of the world that has been for a long time. Um, there's been a lot of doctors that you know have been either hooked on medication and been slanging the medications, or they get their, their patients hooked because... You know, they think that they're doing a, a benefit for their patients. And once they get hooked on these medications, then it's very, very hard to get off the medications. One is you become, you know, mentally, like physically, mentally, physiologically, and physically um, addicted. And at that point, um, you know, it could harm you. It could harm your, your life, lifestyle, your family, and all these different things around you. So please, guys. Please take those seriously and don't abuse them if you got those medications. All right, Snowcat Ridge. If you guys don't know what this is, Snowcat Ridge here in Florida. <coughs> it's about a half a mile. It's in Dade City, half a mile away from Tampa. Gonna be awesome. They're thinking about, they're talking about opening this up in November, which is like huge, big snow hill with real snow. People are gonna be able to tube on it, make snowmen, snowball fights, like all these cool things in Florida. So I've never really seen anything like this. The closest I've seen like this is at Bush Gardens, and they've can't they like they canceled it like a couple of years ago. I think four four years ago, Christmas Town. We we used to we have it here in Bush Gardens. And before they'd have snow slides, you could tube down these snow slides. You could make snowballs and stuff like that. They got rid of it. I don't know if it was just too hard to maintain or whatever it is. But this is the real deal. I mean, this place is huge, sixty foot tall. I don't know how many feet like long i mean this thing is crazy so really really cool they're going to bring the snow here to florida and for all you snow people out there that are sick of the snow i feel you i grew up in 21 years but the people down here in florida they haven't really experienced it like my son he's i think he's seen snow one time and that's when i took him up north but he really he likes it. he wants he wants to hang out in the snow so you know what this is just something that we can do here in florida I'm really excited about and technology. This is just another technology advancement to be able to have snow like this in the state of Florida that's this big and be able to do this. And during COVID, this is awesome. So I can't wait. It's going to be something fun, active, and outside to do, which that hits all the points for me, man. This is awesome. Active, outside, and fun to do. That's that's a winner, winner. Three awesome things you can do with that, right? So Snowcat Ridge, looking for it, November. Woo! 60 foot tall Gundam robot operational can walk and do gestures. I seen this on TV. I was just shocked. Gundam. Gundam. So if you've ever seen like uh, Voltron or like, you know, if you were a kid growing up, you've seen these Japanese anime cartoons where, you know, these robots connected to this bigger form of a robot and they battle these monsters or other robots and stuff like that. Really, really cool. 
Well, they've created a real one, 60 yeah. foot tall too as well. This thing moves. It can move its hands. It can move its legs. It can walk, and it can m make gestures. When I seen this, I was just like, "Wow, man!" Like now, I can definitely see this being militarized, weaponized. If they can do this stuff with it, they can definitely sure add on some of these different things. And what are we gonna have? We're gonna have these big fighting robots, uh, like like Pacific Rim. Yep. So Pacific Rim, if you guys don't know what that movie is, Pacific Rim is like Pacific Rim, excuse me, is about you know basically these aliens coming through um, the 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 faults, yeah, the faults, the, the uh, uh, yes, yes, coming through and basically uh, us and all these different countries create these huge robots to fight them. This is exactly what it looks like and exactly what it reminds me of. To a T, it's very cool. If you guys haven't checked it out, you guys need to go check out this video, and you're just you're gonna be wild. You're like, wow, this this is pretty serious. So I'm looking forward to seeing this thing move, do other gestures, maybe fly around a little bit. That'd be very very cool, right? All right, so last piece of business today. So Titan athletes, if you guys want to know how to become a Titan athlete, I get this question a lot too. So <sighs> being a Titan athlete is gonna be harder than you guys think now especially uh because right now i get a ton of inquirements of wanting to be a titan athlete titan net sponsored all these different things for me it's always quality over quantity i'd rather have 10 soldiers that are going to give me their all out than 100 soldiers that might turn their back on me in the face of anything that's wrong right if they see something that's off they're going to just or a better situation so at that point, like I really, really screen a lot of them. Now, what goes into this? I want somebody that really knows about Titan Medical Center, really wants to push and develop and grow the brand with me. I want somebody that's going to have our back just like we're going to have their back. I don't think that's too much to ask for, but I, that's exactly what I want. I want somebody that knows it's going to blow it up, has no problems doing this. You know, in the past, I've had athletes who I have to track them down and why aren't you posting? Do you know what this therapy is you're taking? Like all these different things and, and not, not Bo Peep. So at that point, just get rid of the, I got rid of the trash, you know, through the years. Now, you know, some of the athletes have been with me before, you know, I won't say bad things about because some of them were good athletes and just, you know, things move on. So at that point, it's not for everybody. But there were some people out there that I had to give the boot to and say goodbye and happy as hell I did it. And that goes for employees or athletes or people in your life that are just toxic or bringing negative energy to you. And this doesn't go for Titan athletes. This goes for everything in life. If you have these people by you and they're constantly bringing you down or constantly, constantly toxic or you think they're having a negative effect or against you, they're not worth your time and not worth you having there. You know, a lot of people, something bad happens and a situation ends. And that door closes. But you know what? Most of the time, another door opens. It's a lot better than the door you just closed. You know, I had a conversation with somebody about that this weekend. You know, I'm like, listen, I'm like, it's better that that happened right away. Uh, you know, we here at Titan, we, you know, we, it was better, you know, if that this person leaves and, and we're here and we're going to go on and be a lot more successful and a lot better for it. So at that point, it is what it is. All right. Um, I think that's it. So last thing tonight. Also, this is a great question what can I stack my Hercules besides ECA to lean out? ECA stack plus is a good one. So with, okay, so what can I stack my Hercules? Okay, so ECA stack plus is a good one to do with Hercules. The other ones to help along with that. What, you know, go for the trifecta, man. Either tighten up or tighten complete. Those are going to be great ones to add to it. The tighten fat burning cream, if you're trying to hit specific areas, are going to be really, really good ones. Um... If you want to look at CJC 1295 with Imperellin, that's another good one. AOD 9604, that's another good one. Um, those are going to probably be your best bet. Now, Dave, if you're hitting a plateau, um, you're doing good, but you're hitting a plateau, make sure hormones are on point. Make sure those are all balanced and optimal. After that, I really would look at, you know, with the Hercules and ECA Sac Plus, one, the dose of the ECA Stack Plus, let us know what you're doing dose-wise. If it's the low dose, high dose, there's even a, 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 an upper dose to that if, if needed. Um, but like I said, tighten complete, tighten up. We're going to go right along with those things. They're all natural as far as that goes. No blood work's needed with that. And you can use that, and it should definitely help you lean out more than what you already are at, okay? 
tonight, it's going to be a big, big night. If you guys don't know, there's going to be a debate tonight. Who do you guys got for the presidential presidential debate? And we're not getting political here, so we're not, don't even go there. It's either Trump or Biden. Who you guys got? I hope you know. It's, I hope it's a big square off. They're saying there's supposed to be like Super Bowl ratings. Um, so we're gonna see what, what goes down tonight. I'm just looking for you know. Uh, I'm just looking for a, a real heated debate. Let's put it that way. I want to see them go at each other. I want to see who's gonna be the best for our country. All right. TBL Roof thoughts on L-carnitine. So L-carnitine is a great amino acid. Okay. So L-carnitine is a lot of our different blends from Hercules Potion, Tighten Up. Um, Tie and complete, it's in there. You have straight L carnitine they can use too as well. Great for weight loss, blood flow, energy properties. So at that point, L carnitine is great. And when you pair it with the different amino acids, you're gonna get a better result because you're not just gonna have one thing working for you. You're gonna have all these other different ones working for you at the same time. So that's really where it's at because you want all these things to be working for you. Now, one thing can definitely get you going, like L carnitine, or uh, you know, arginine or citrulline, stuff like that singly, but combining them together, you're really going to get a lot more benefits out of a therapy like that or uh, out of the training that you're doing, just what it is. Okay, because I'm definitely seeing results. You're going to see results with L-carnitine for sure. Now, are you taking an injectable? Are you taking an oral? You know, what are you doing there? Let, let me know. Um, and if you are taking an oral and you're seeing some results, that's great. Just think about what an injectable is going to do because you're getting a higher absorbency, faster transportation rate. And I always tell people that. I'm like, listen, if you think you're getting results now, wait till you're doing the injectable because the injectable is going to be a whole different ball game. Okay? It, it just is. You know, we were talking about Hercules Potion earlier today with one of my guys that came in. And, and at that point, we are like, man, like, there's nothing like it. Like, this is just a game changer. It's one of my favorite in the, in, in the, in, out of mostly all my therapies here. After HRT, I'm definitely going to go with Hercules Potion as my number one therapy. I just love it. Um, can create call, can create. Oh, look who's joined the conversation. IFBB Pro, Rachel Daniels, a.k.a. the real Lois Lane. She was just in here earlier. What's up, girl? So at that point, we were just talking about Hercules Potion, l quarantine stuff like that. Now, I, I don't think it's going to be able to... Like the L-carnitine you're talking about, TB, uh, TBL roof, creatine. So creatine is going to create some water retention, okay? That's what it does. Um, it holds water in the body, right? In the muscles specifically, too, as well. That's why people that usually take creatine, their muscles usually pump up. Um, and then afterwards, it kind of deflates down. That's why it's it's water getting held in it, water in the muscle, not blood or anything else. So that's probably why you're seeing some water retention there. Me, myself, I don't take any creatine, but creatine has, has an effect with, with, you know, we're working out and helping out with bodybuilding and stuff like that, too. So, you know, that could help. But if you take out the creatine, you're probably going to get rid of it. Hercules just makes you look like a superhero. No water. That's right. So I was just talking about it earlier. I was like, man, I was like, out of all the therapies, right, Rachel, I'm probably going to take Hercules Potion uh, as one of my tops, amino, amino acid and vitamins. Obviously, HRT takes tops for me as, as far as testosterone placement, my foundations, my body, having everything work properly. But after that, like, if I had to choose one, that would probably be it. Um, Hercules Potion is, is great for recovery aspect, blood flow aspect, pump aspect, immune system boosting, liver functions, uh, blood flow with L-carnitine, um, proline, uh, you know, it helps lubricate joint areas, the collagen-based amino acid. Ornithine, let me work out or do more strenuous activity or exercises. It's definitely where it's at. And he don't want caffeine, so type complete and or HRT. Don't want caffeine. Okay, yeah. so... It's not a stimulant. It can definitely help. All right, so time complete definitely is, is the way to go. So if you don't want caffeine, are, are you really worried about the stimulant portion? Or are you worried about just the caffeine? Because when you look at ECA Stack Plus, we're talking about ephedrine, which is a stimulant. Caffeine, stimulant. Aspirin, which is going to be all right. You're going to be fine there. Just It's going to help with blood flow. Uh, no heart palpitations. You're going to have in there and B12, which you know they're not stimulants to as well. Because we can create ECA Stack Plus without caffeine. People are like, really? Yeah, we can do that. That's not a problem. Um, but you're going to want some of the stimulant effect, uh, like ephedrine, for specifically raising core temperature and helping you burn that body fat, okay? If that's what you're trying to do and lean out. Um, if you're not taking any caffeine products right now, and I don't know if you are or aren't, um, you know, that, that could cause... You know, some interruption possibly if you're taking a lot of caffeine and that's why you don't want to take any caffeine or if you're having problems with caffeine or you have heart issues and we don't want to do any stimulants. I can understand that too as well. All right. 
Hercules is for men and women. It works the exact same way for men and women. You know, so we all need men and women, vitamins and amino acids. So this one is very good for men and women. And hormones are the exact same way. Hormones are in males and females, the exact same hormones, just at different levels. Okay. I need an East Age Dag Plus for sure. So, uh, so yeah, so you guys taking this information, I hope it's helped you guys. Um, we have our poll question coming up next. Yes, sir. So what do you take to help your focus, mental clarity, and energy? So this is a specific one. Before I get to that, one more question. What do you recommend for joint pain? So AJ, so joint pain um, now just depends what the issue is. If it's con chronic, like all the time, um, you might want to look at BPC-157, TB-500, great for joint pain. Another big one is inflammation. So usually people have joint pain because of inflammation or they're too dry too. That, that could be another one. But usually it's it's because of inflammation. Now, glutathione can help with inflammation. Uh, TB500, BBC157 could be great for inflammation. So those are going to probably be your go-to for joint pain as far as that goes um, and should help, uh, specifically TB500, okay? BBC is great too. With it. So if you could take both of those at the same time, probably going to help you a lot more, okay? All right. Poll question one more time. What do you take to help your focus, mental clarity, and energy? Okay, we, we did this because of our therapy of the week with NAD. I want to know what other people are taking out there. So, 8.9% said over-the-counter supplements. Okay, I can see that. A lot of people do, and they're taking either caffeine pills or they're taking a nootropic or, or, or something else that's helping them that's an over-the-counter supplement. 13.3% said Rx from other doctors. So they're taking something from other doctors out there that is helping them with energy, focus, and clarity. Now, there are some different things out there that are controlled substances that do this, uh, mainly Adderall, Madonafil, that, that's a big one. Madonafil is a big one. Um, Adderall has been used a lot. Um, Phenermine is used in some situations with, with some of these other doctors. You know, but there's ways to do it without using the controlled substances and really getting a good benefit from it. 24.4% said Titan Therapies. That's awesome. So Titan Therapies are helping people out there with focus, mental clarity, and energy. Specifically, NAD, Titan Ultra, ECA Sac Plus helps a lot along with that. Um, it's awesome, okay? So I'm glad you guys are answering that question. Titan Therapies. Uh, after that, 24.4% again, energy drinks and other stimulants. So they can be taking caffeine pills, Red Bulls, Monsters, Bangs, whatever's out there. And there's a million and one energy drinks and stimulants out there you guys can take. So a lot of people are using these. Now, what I would say is, is listen, if you can get on a Titan therapy that's more clean, clear, and ready to go, that'd probably be the way to go. That's two guys. I'm so risk of my bed. Sorry, guys. Um, all right, so energy drinks. So at that point, listen, you don't need all the other stuff that comes along with some of these energy drinks or some of these things that you might be taking in. So get rid of all the fillers, the garbage. Utilize what you really need to help you get to that effect. The last one, 28.9%, which is the biggest so far, is a healthy diet. I, I'm not going to argue against a healthy diet. Healthy diet is key. It's a key foundation. I say that all the time. You know, our therapies are great. Game changers by far, right? And can help in a lot of different ways. But it's always good to have the foundations of a healthy diet, activity, and good sleep. So those three are the pillars usually. Um, and if you can't get one of those, like sleep, then you need to find out a way that you can get some healthy sleep because it will help you in the long run. So nutrition is definitely key. But a lot of people don't get the nutrition that they really need. That's the problem with that when I see that. Because 28.9%, which is most of the people, answer to that question specifically, uh, or that answer, you know, these people, are they really getting the nutrition they need to function optimally? I mean, because I know bodybuilders out there or, or models or, or people in general, um, you know, that they don't have the time to even get the nutrition that they need. And that's specifically what they're trying to do. So for a regular person to really do this, it's kind of hard, okay? All right. So I think that's it for the Titan Talk Tuesday of this week. What do we got? 
B12 injections have been helping me out. So that's awesome. So Leonard Laws has been taking B12 injections, been helping him out for energy. That's really, really cool. Has somebody get in contact with me? Been a patient for a while. Okay. All right, David. No problem. I'll have uh, one of the staff contact you. Write down this name. You got it? Yep. Okay, cool. All right, so we will definitely do that. Do you have any sleep or any therapies for sleep? What up, Stacy? How you doing? I gotta give a shout out to Stacy. We got to hang out with Stacy Messina this weekend, who's a, a Titan family member, right? Uh, she's been with me for years. Love her to death. We, every time we get together, we have a, a blast, man. We just have a blast. It's like we, ha you know, we haven't missed out on each other at all. But it's just catch up right from where we're at, you know. It's really, really cool. So big shout out to Stacy. Love you to death. Awesome to see your face this weekend. Do you have any therapies for better sleep? So yes. So for sleep, Titan Serenity is a big one. L-theanine, taurine, and magnesium going to relax you, going to put you at ease, and hopefully let you go to sleep a lot better and stay asleep. Now, there's a couple other ones like peptides. Semerolin, uh, MK677, these will help with, with sleep patterns, uh, specifically helping you go to sleep. Um, and hopefully, you know, you're getting good sleep. And if you're not getting good sleep, you should definitely look in these therapies to help you sleep. Because sleep is essential. It's essential for everything from muscle growth, cognitive thinking, right, brain function, um, the way the body is. And like, so definitely get your sleep on point. Um, try, as, you know, all the things you possibly can, okay? All right, guys. I think that's it. Right? Any more? Any more questions before we end this bad boy for this week? Because I'm going to get ready and go home and get some sleep and watch this debate tonight. Maybe get some laughs first. But, uh, yeah. So, it's been a great Titan Talk Tuesday. Thank you guys for all joining in, asking your questions, being interactive with me. If you guys want to get on the next poll for the newsletter, it's real simple and easy. All you got to do is text the word Titan Medical to the number 22828. So, you're going to text the word Titan Medical to the word 22828, okay? Uh, and you guys will be included on the newsletter. You guys will see the therapy of the week, maybe some discounts, other things that Titan has going on, like events. You guys will also see the poll question for each week. You guys will get to you know, answer that poll question, be interactive with me. I appreciate that um, and asking questions. So thank you guys very much. I appreciate you guys. Thank you, TBL Root, for tuning in again. I appreciate everybody tuning in, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Twitter, all the social media platforms. If you're on Facebook, please share this. Just go at the bottom and press share. If you're on Instagram, at and tag a couple people that you know on there. YouTube, press the all notifications button and the little bell. Uh, you know, you're going to get the subscribe and then the all notifications bell. Uh, so you get alerted every time we go live on there. Okay? So thank you guys very much. Don't forget about the podcast. You guys, anywhere podcasts are available, you guys can download the Titan Medical Center Titan Lifestyle Podcast. Um, or any of those different ones you guys can listen to us you know when you're on the road or training and get some vital information that could help you out now or later you never know all right guys check out the website www.tightmedicalcenter.com thank you very much again i appreciate your time and keep safe keep healthy and keep it tight and strong thanks guys <laughs>